let me introduce uh, ourselves. Um, um, we have been operating as a supporters blog, football blog, for 14 years. For now, um, we are simple fans. And we are attending at every home games and uh, sometimes at uh, the away games. For example, last week we go to Székesfehérvár Fehérvár in this weekend. Um, so have you ever heard of us or have you, um, do you follow the fans' reactions at the, the social media? Uh, yes, I heard about your blog, uh, bec- uh, but not uh, because I'm watching it. Mm-hmm. Uh, my, my colleagues are familiar with that and they introduced me uh, to your project. Mm-hmm. And um, I must admit that uh, I try and I think I, I have a success in that. Uh, not to read the, the comments, not mm-hmm. to 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 stay out of any um, possible influence from the from the side, um, because I think it's it is not useful for me for my job. It can influence uh, also on my decisions. So I'm not involved in a, in a social media comments at all. So I don't read the comments. Uh, I'm just trying to 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 keep my job in the boundaries of my coaching staff and the team, of course. But I'm familiar familiar that uh, you guys exist, and I have just an admiration for that. It 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 shows uh, how much you love the club, of course. So let's talk about your previous career. Uh, you first became a coach at a young age. Uh, how did this opportunity come about at that time? Uh, have you, uh, did you prepare yourself to, to be as a coach? Yes, I, 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 I can say that because uh, I, uh, my um, player career was completely average. I was the average player, I must admit it. Uh, I played second and third league in Serbia. It's, uh, but in, in that time, it was 20, 30, 30 years ago. Uh, it was, uh, I can say, higher level than today's second uh, division, for example. Uh, but in the same time, I, I went to a faculty uh, for sports and uh, physical education. We called it like this in Serbia. I don't know how it how it's uh, here. And uh, in the same time, I went to faculty and I I I, I play football. And uh, somehow. From the beginning, I I knew that I will stay in uh, football, in sport, but in in which kind of work I didn't know. And at that time, I was I was young, but when I when I was 27, 28, I get a serious injured, uh, something similar like Eric Kushte now, not similar but same, and uh, I have a problem. I had a problem that then in uh, in. Uh, recuperation of that and uh, uh, I decided while well, I, I I didn't I didn't uh, get anything from my career at the end of my 28 I decided okay uh, I will I will go completely transform myself uh, to a coach and to to stay in football in that way and I, I start I started to work uh, in an academy when I was 27 28 and I was working eight years in uh, an academy in one football club in Belgrade. That That is my start. Mm-hmm. And at the same time, I finished the, the, the faculty. I'm now officially professor of the sports and uh, physical education. And the same time, I graduated a football coach. And that's it. After that, all other things, license, a pro, and that's it. Mm-hmm. My story of my education. Yeah. That's how I started. Yeah, and uh, before you uh, coming to Debrecen, you worked uh, in Kazakhstan uh, for Astana, and but you left the uh, league leaders a few rounds before the end of the season. And what was the the reason of of that? Yeah, it is it is strange uh, for us uh, here. It's strange, but for Kazakhstan, it's it's some kind of normal things. But because they are uh, too influenced by uh, politics, politics yeah. circumstances. And uh, in that moment, uh, when I left the club, it was, I think, five rounds till the end. We were on the second position, just uh, just two points behind Dr. Tobe, and we were in the semifinal of the cup. But uh, some political change uh, happened uh, above us, and uh, um, rolling down, uh, they, they, they changed the president of the club after that, the sportive director, and in one moment, no matter... We were close uh, to the to the completely top after I think uh, we had uh, four 
for uh, consecutive wins, uh, and uh, just they just called me and say, said that uh, they want to terminate the contract, and uh, it was reason from just to to make a deal how to, how to do it, and uh, uh, it, it happened for us here. Maybe it's uh, strange, but for them, it's it's not so strange. It's normal. And what was your uh, first impressions when when you arrived to Debrecen? Uh, Did you hear anything about the club? Yeah, I, I knew. I knew uh, uh, first uh, it all happened while I was uh, determining my contract with uh, Astana. I was over there in Astana in Kazakhstan when I get a call from from one agent who uh, proposed me a uh, uh, yeah, possible new job, and uh, in that moment I needed to to decide it. Uh, in a, in a, in, a, in a few days, basically, um, uh, I even I even um, had a flight to Belgrade, but I changed it uh, uh, to to Budapest flight from then. And uh, I tried in a few days to get as many information I have uh, I can, and I did it because uh, I, I had uh, some of my former players uh, who were playing in uh, in Hungary, and also my colleagues who who work here. Uh, not in Debrecen, but in Hungary, and they get they give me they give me some information about uh, the club, about the league, about the, the team, and everything. Uh, but I I cannot say that I had uh, too much information. But I tried in a, in a three days to get uh, as many information as I can and to watch a uh, few games Debrecen played. And I did it, and I came with this knowledge <laughs> here in Debrecen. And uh, how challenging do you find it to keep the, the dressing room together? Because uh, Debrecen has probably never had so many different uh, nations, foreign players uh, in the, the first team in their history. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I didn't know that fact that it's, it's the first time that it's so, so many uh, foreign players. Uh, uh, it's, it's not in Debrecen, it's uh, everywhere. Uh, it's that, that, that challenge. In Serbia and also. And uh, even in the lower league team, I had, I'm always repeating this kind of example. Uh, in in one lower level team, when I was a coach, um, even then the, the the supporters from that team were coming on the game and trying to count how many players from this specific specific, uh, specific uh, re region are there. So uh, in in all the uh, clubs or uh, in, in a lot of clubs, uh, I have, a, a, I had, or it's normal to have this kind of not problems, but challenges. And um, I think uh, what is help, helping a lot me is uh, that uh, we have uh, really good personalities in the in the dressing room. Mm -hmm. All the guys and domestic and uh, local guys and uh, and uh, the, the foreign players also they are with good characters and they have will to cooperate uh, between themselves and they are doing it with uh, a lot of respect mm -hmm. and that is what is helping me also in to 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 not to control but to 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 do it properly you mentioned the, the characters uh, so let's talk about uh, Balazs Dujak he is the the most important character i think in in the club so um we are uh, all of our that his career is coming to an end uh, how difficult do you think it would be to replace him? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, you know better how big is uh, how big name is Balazs Dujak. You know it better than me, and uh, he's influenced uh, on the team in uh, years behind us. And in this period, while I'm here, it's a big one, not just on the field uh, with his quality, but also in the locker room and uh, in the club as well. And um, he, I, I must admit that he helped me a lot uh, because uh, he uh, helped me uh, with this relationship we, we spoke about uh, between the players because he is always uh, trying to help and uh, to help uh, the domestic players to protect the interest of the domestic players, but in the same time to be helpful uh, to the uh, foreign players to uh, to make them feel comfortable here because he played abroad and he had uh, same same topic uh, same issue in his career and uh, he is trying to do that. I I know that it's not easy for him in some moments, but uh, he is trying to do and 
uh, do it properly and uh, he's uh, very useful for me. Uh, of course, he's not get, getting any younger, of course. Uh, the club uh, must uh, think about the future and also he needs to, to think about the future. Uh, uh, trying to find uh, a right way how to find uh, uh, you know it's in some future some future near or or uh, past uh, to 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 find uh, the the replacement for him but it's a process also and um, of course uh, he will be involved in that process and um, but for now we are just focused on the, this season and we are not uh, trying to, to not think uh, that far. And uh, for us, the most important thing is what we are doing now, uh, this moment, and uh, especially in the locker room, especially uh, between within the team and uh, the coaching staff. So we are just focused now on today's moment. Yeah, we know that uh, it is hard to replace Balazs in the team and his character, but what do you think? Um... Shoma Sorovsky could be the long-term replacement of him, or or <clears throat> what do you think about uh, Shoma? So we we see that uh, you played him uh, alongside with Jujak, but uh, do you have any plans to to play him on his position in the future, maybe? Yeah, Shoma is definitely a good player. Uh, that is the reason why the club uh, signed him, and uh, I I I I will repeat that uh, I like his characteristics. Uh, he's the the player who is not. Uh, um, losing the ball easy, and I like this kind of players. Uh, I spoke with him. Uh, he needs a time to adapt uh, to uh, new circumstances, new environment, also uh, for the new for the new demands uh, around him, and uh, also in the way of play. And uh, I tried him in a in a few positions. Uh, all of them, of course, in the midfield, but uh, I tried him with the uh, different roles and we are trying to, to find for him the best solutions, uh, what is uh, good for him, uh, what, where we can use him uh, useful and uh, in which position he will feel himself comfortable. So. We are in the middle of that process. I know it's not easy for him because he didn't used to it to be in the center of uh, of uh, attention. Uh, attention, uh, but uh, that is what is coming on the maybe on the some kind of different level of organization is bringing with uh, uh, with it, with itself. So. Uh, it's not easy for him, but uh, with our help and with his uh, uh, effort, uh, I think everything will come on the place we want. And uh, what is your opinion about the, the other winter arrivals, so Pelumbi, Tor and Pochish? <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's all the players uh, <clears throat> we signed uh, with... Uh, believe that uh, they will help us and that we will help them to improve and uh, uh, the players uh, we think uh, have a future um, and um, I like what I saw uh, from um, Thor uh, he came later and uh, he came just uh, in the last I don't know five days uh, in our uh, preparation camp in uh, Antalya. Also, he needs a time, but in every training session, uh, he shows that uh, uh, he has that quality we need. Um, about Kocic, he is the, the latest uh, new sign, and uh, um, I, I watched him in a previous period, especially when we played against uh, Holmberg in last year. And uh, when when we emphasize him as a, one of the best uh, players uh, over there in Homebed, one of the biggest dangers uh, coming from Homebed, and uh, it stayed in our head, and um, it is uh, the one of the reasons why we use the moment uh, when when it was possible to to sign this kind of player. So he is a young player, uh, talented uh, Hungarian, and. Uh, like you said, um, 
we need to think about also the future of the club and uh, he, I think he will be one of the uh, players who can help uh, the club uh, in, uh, in the future period, of course. Mm-hmm. Pelumbi, I, I forgot Pelumbi, he's the player we wanted to sign uh, in, uh, in the summer of last year, uh, but uh, uh, we, we didn't do it uh, for some reasons and uh, uh, we followed him six months uh, in the Croatian league and uh, uh, we were analyzing all of his actions from every game in the last six months and uh, this is the player I think we needed, uh, left-footed centre-back, because we didn't have it with uh, this, his characteristic, uh, characteristics, what he, have, what he has. So, uh, I think, uh, I think uh, we, we were right uh, when we signed him and uh, all of these players, of course, they need the time to adapt and to, to get relaxed, uh, comfortable in our way of play and environment and I, I think they will just be better, of course. Mm-hmm. And the question about the goalkeeper situation, uh, because it is it's quite to be similar to, to the last years that uh, Balázs Megyed is the only experienced one and last year uh, he injured and then Milosevic arrived as an emergency. Uh, solution so uh, are there any plans to to sign somebody now or the two youngsters uh, Engedi and that uh, is up to the job to to replace the yeah we, we had some similar situation mm-hmm. last year uh, last winter yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, after his mega is injured uh, we we decided and we were lucky to to have the opportunity to sign marco Velosevic because he was a free agent in this moment in that moment and uh i think marco also helped us a lot in in these moments and he helped uh the team and the club and i'm really thankful uh also when we speak about major uh, he is a great goalkeeper uh, great person, great personality, uh, who is very good for the dressing room and uh, we all appreciate that. Uh, we, we, sp- we spoke a lot uh, with the management about uh, the topic and uh, we went to Turkey with that question, what to do, should we sign uh, somebody else uh, with Megeri or not? And the end, the uh, club's decision after uh, training camp is that uh, we will not sign the uh, new goalkeeper, so we will stay with the uh, majority and with uh, uh, Benny and Mark uh, with them, with the opportunity for them to to grow uh, next to Balash Megeri and of course, if the chance uh, comes uh, to 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 try to use it. Uh, and uh, we are prepared to give them a chance and to to stick be- behind them, no matter what happens. Okay, so let's talk about your philosophy of play. So many fans have compared uh, the DVST style last season to to Roberto De Zerbi's Brighton and Pep Guardiola's Man City. So were you inspired by those two, or are there any other coaches who inspired you? First of all, I'm glad uh, if you see uh, in our way of play something from these coaches <laughs> and, uh, you know it's it's difficult to compare myself with uh, any of those players and our team with uh, uh, their teams but if you see something i'm i'm already <laughs> glad you know uh, uh basically I, I i always like to to watch to analyze uh, the way of play of uh, the coaches who are doing something differently uh and uh who are brave, who want to, to dominate the game by possession. And, uh, of course, uh, I analyzed a lot the, the games of uh, uh, Guardiola's team, of the Zerbis also, uh, but there are a lot of players like Gasperini from Atalanta, like uh, Arteta now, and, or Postecoglou, and I like to watch uh, Premier League uh, uh, much. And, uh, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm, I can say for myself that I'm, I'm influenced by the coaches who are doing something differently, uh, something maybe unusual, and uh, uh, who are who who wants to to dominate the game by by uh, possession and by uh, having the ball. 
Yeah, and in a very short time after just one game, uh, even us, uh, the fans, could recognize innovative changes changes when, when you come to Debrecen. Uh, how difficult was it to transfer this philosophy to the game in a in few days? How did the players receive this kind of philosophy? But I, I had that, uh, that luck that uh, players accepted the idea first of uh, how I want my team to play. They, they, are, they accepted uh, pretty good uh, with the open hand, with the open mind. And that is the most important thing. The, the most important thing in, for the coach is uh, to uh, convince uh, all around him that his way is... Uh, a good way to get the result. So uh, I had that luck that uh, um, all of the players, of course, and my coaches staff were, okay, let's do it. Let's try to do it. And they were open and uh, uh, and where I had the luck also because uh, we get the result. Uh, the coaches and the team depends on the result. And uh, in that moment when we started to to... To, to work uh, immediately first game we won against uh, Homebed and um, after that we won in the games in, in some games where in my opinion we didn't play on the way I want my team to play but we win and uh, we stick together and we stick with the plan and uh, I always insist to stick uh, with the plan to keep it uh, to stick with the principles of play no matter of the result and it's my motto and i was always repeating that to the players that uh, uh, i will not go away from the way i think uh, i want my team to play no matter of the result no matter of the time on the uh, on the on the field uh, first minute 90 minutes we are leading 1-0 we are losing 1-0 i want my team to 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 have a trust on the process to 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 believe in in uh, our, our plan and uh, no matter of the result on the current mood to to stick with the plan so uh, i had that luck that uh, the team accepted it and that we had in in uh, in the beginning we had the positive results mm -hmm. and uh, what is your uh, opinion about the the format of the championship so the 12 team uh, championship because from outside we see that everyone is fighting for their lives and uh, Coach is there to take few risks and uh, every match is too important. So uh, does this hurt or help the clubs in the championship? What do you think? Hmm. It's an interesting question. Uh, uh, I think first, I think the competition is very interesting uh, because uh, and all the clubs are in the game, some kind of game. For me, that is interesting. Uh, uh, I, I know five round till the end you don't know basically who is fighting for the europe who is fighting to avoid the relegation and uh this kind of pressure is also some kind of um thing uh, which is helping to grow i i, I accept it like this uh, because uh, in a higher level uh you cannot grow um, without the pressure it's my opinion. If you have a pressure, th this is what makes you uh, prepared uh, for uh, developing or uh, to, uh, for a growth or something like this. So I, I don't think it's a problem uh, to have some kind of pressure. Uh, it, it's about the question how you deal with the pressure. So how is your reaction to the pressure? And um, I like... Uh, this competition also because uh, for me uh, fact that every team can win every team here and everything can lose from every team it's also interesting and you are not sure uh, against any team here uh, in, 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 in Hungary and, 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 I, and I like that even Ferenc Svaros which I count like uh, one level up from the other teams no matter Paks is now with them <laughs> Uh, but I think they are one or two levels in front of the teams. Uh, even them, they can lose from any team uh, sometimes. Or, and um, I, I like it. Uh, I, I don't have any complaints about the, the competition, to be honest. 
Okay, so a few questions about the current season. So we felt you made the most changes in the two winger position during this uh, year. And apart from injuries, uh, what do you attribute to this uh, to as a primary reason for not finding the standard players in the in the wingers' positions? Uh, well, yeah, it's it's a difficult question. It's it's a topic also for me. Uh, I think um, uh, first of all, uh, winger position. Uh, we had a big competition. Most players we have on that, that those positions and. Uh, in some moments, uh, the issue is to all, to to give to all of them some kind of chance to to show themselves. Uh, uh, at the end, their job is to convince me. Uh, okay, I'm I'm that guy. Uh, don't use the other one. Don't have a doubt. I'm that guy. Uh, we have a, a struggle over there because in some moment one. To be honest, one winger is uh, above the others. After that, he's dropping down, and somebody else is going up because uh, I'm all the time with them uh, every every day, uh, seven days per week, and I I can watch them every training sessions session, and uh, uh, also um, all of them they have some difficult. Uh, different characteristics. Uh, one of them are good one against one uh, with dribbling. One of them are uh, with uh, speed, with pace, uh, with a uh, good uh, characteristic of attacking the depth. And uh, maybe in some games we need a player who is capable to save the ball and to to uh, not uh, easy lose, lose the ball. And uh, sometimes we need a depth attacker. And sometimes that is the 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 way how we decide who will who will play. Uh, in a, for example, in the last year, I'm I'm repeating that uh, all the time in our conversation and even with the with the players. Then in some moment the last year, that was not the case because in one moment it was for me Sechi Shosh and I I didn't have any doubts. And uh, um, a lot of circumstances. Uh, are influencing on on, on decision. I I, mu I must admit that uh, we are we in a coaching staff. Me as a head coach and them as a, as a players. We are all struggling now to to find a, a right balance in in, in that. And uh, uh, but they are all the players with uh, with the qualities. And uh, I I I hope that we will go through this with the with the success and to find a. Uh, right solutions. Yeah, and uh, what results would you be satisfied with in June when you look back to this season? Because it seems to be the third position is currently uh, far away from us, but uh, we are still in the Hungarian Cup, but uh, against Ferenc Varos. Yeah, the, the, you, I, you don't know what will be my answer. I, I don't look uh, so far and I don't like uh, long-term goals, especially the big words and uh, big announcement and big promises. I don't like it because I'm I'm aware that uh, only daily work is uh, important. Only the training session we, we are having after our conversation is important. What we do in this in this training session and how we will prepare ourselves for the for the next game. And we are always from Sunday to Sunday and. Uh, uh, that doesn't then doesn't mean that uh, that uh, I I don't have uh, ambition. Of course, uh, I'm very ambitious person, and I want uh, to do uh, a lot with this club. Um, but I cannot say uh, in which position we will finish at the end uh, because um, uh, my opinion is uh, uh, that. Uh, with the focus on the daily job, uh, we're supposed to do what depends on us, and after that, we will deserve uh, how much we will deserve. Uh, I, I, in the same time, I believe in a lot of uh, this team, in this club, uh, in, 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 in these players, and uh, I will not go away from the ambition to to be in a in a in a, in a top of the league, uh, but I will not promise it. Uh, I just want we to do everything we can uh, to to be on on a higher position, 
and uh, at the end we will see uh, what what is the for me what is the most important thing for uh, this uh, two years or three years first uh, to to became a, a regular member of the top of the Hungarian league. So to avoid this kind of uh, going up uh, up and down in one moment to be on the podium on the third position and after that to 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 fight to avoid the relegation and uh, uh, to 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 fix ourselves in 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 the top of the league and after that to uh, within this process to to try to grow and to be sure to to make a good uh, you know pace in the in the near future to to go step by step uh, in front and to 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 come closer to the level Ferenc Varos uh, has now. Yeah, and and the last short, short question. So, do you have any message to the the fans uh, about this uh, tough uh, February and uh, about the whole spring season? Uh, yeah, my message is always. Uh, I would like uh, first of all I want to thank uh, to thanks uh, to the uh, to to the all the fans they are coming on uh, our games especially in the away games um uh, and uh, I I know and I'm aware how how useful is uh, their support and uh, I love the atmosphere uh when they are here and when they support us uh in in the same time I want we all to stick together, no matter of the circumstances, um, uh, because uh, word supporters uh, comes from uh, uh, word support. So no matter of the result, uh, no matter of the uh, current mood, I want uh, we all to to be together and uh, to to help each other. Our goal is to uh, make fans happy or satisfied and. Uh, uh, their role is uh, to help us with uh, good words and uh, good support, uh, uh, mostly uh, in a, in a bad moments, uh, because where when the bad moments comes, uh, this is uh, the time when we need uh, support the most. And uh, uh, it's easy, you know. Uh, to I, I spoke, I speak with the players that it's easy to. To play when you are leading five zero, so everybody is uh, can play, and also for the supporters, it's easy to support the, the team when he is is leading five uh, zero and winning five uh, zero. But uh, in the hard moments, it's it's the most important to to be together. And uh, um, I would like we to to make this kind of atmosphere uh, with the players uh, to show to everybody. That we are fighting, that not not fighting. We are doing everything we know and we can to to make the fans happy and uh, satisfied and proud. And uh, uh, after that, I I hope they will they will recognize and they will uh, stay in front of us or beside us or behind us, no matter of the uh, current uh, result or or mood. And I would like we all to have this kind of atmosphere and. Uh, I, I'll just promise we will we'll do everything on the training sessions on the on the on the, on the pitch uh, on, on, on the games and uh, at, at, the, at the end uh, we will see about the result. I I, I hope uh, all the fans will be happy.